Ice will find out what we're supposed to know about this topic. I don't know because they both sound confusing, both Glorilla and the producer of the record. Apparently, the, the producer of the record also has a distribution deal or a label deal set up. He owns this record and she owns a piece of it and he was going to make sure everybody ate and did the right thing. But when she signed her deal, she apparently promised somebody that this record could be included, uh, but he owned the record. I'm going to let her speak a little bit and then Ice can tell us what we missed. It was, I can't remember ex exactly what it was about, but he ended up saying, if they want to, they're going to have to pay me. I forgot what exactly what amount he said. He just said between a hundred k or five hundred k. That sounds like they she signed to pay him. Me for this song. He got the saying she like that after he kept saying labels called me. So I'm like, he on some other shit. And so he's saying I use CMG lawyers. My lawyer is not a CMG lawyer. He was trying to get me to use his lawyer though. He was like, use my lawyer. Use Conflict my lawyer. Dangerous. No, I'm not Ooh, using your so lawyer. Because I'm not u using your lawyer. I, I used another lawyer, and he not CMG lawyer. So. Again. Now, because that's because the gentleman said, hey, when people were approaching her about a deal, she didn't have a lawyer. So he recommended his lawyer that she didn't use uh -huh. uh, the because she got CMG's lawyer, which has conflict of interest all around the board. Yeah. This is a mess. They both sound like they don't really understand what's going on or what either of them signed or got into. Yeah, a little bit. And they both sound like there's some more certain uh, clarity to get. Yeah. And without knowing all the details here, I just know somebody got fucked. <laughs> somebody, somebody somewhere like somebody in here. Greedy. Or someone got greedy, <clears throat> yeah. All right, so and this, now is, feels like this is what fucked. I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> it's the founder of... I guess it was the, the original label, uh, Power ENT. He breaks down the deal. He says, let me address this from the business side because I see a lot of confusion. End of the day, Anthony Holmes did great business. Anthony Holmes is hit kid. Got it. Okay. He gave up 50% of the masters and 50% of the publishing for F&F &F directly to Glow. Mm -hmm. We actually did everything to protect Glow from the industry and herself. Honestly, Glow independently collects the money for F&F &F it's all her. She just doesn't own the song and never will. We actually saved her from losing millions, and Glow was able to go get a deal without having to sell her independent record. Mm. F and F was created to help all the girls, not for CMG. But I'm excuse me, just like Tony doesn't own Tomorrow or Blessed, which are other records, mm -hmm. Glow doesn't own F and F since Hit Kid put the song out, which was always the plan. Glow and Hit Kid get fifty percent split evenly of all the money brought in on F and F. Unfortunately, CMZ froze all the money, even Glow money, in their latest claim to us. Because there's a, dis a dispute, so all money has to be frozen. Oh, yeah, it sounds like there was, there was something uh -huh. got fucked up with the CMG deal. That's what, it, that's what I was reading. Oh, that's she might have promised from. CMG to them, I mean, that song to them. Now, that's what's originally. They might have signed her predicated on that we getting that, too. If, and that was his statement, a hit kid. He was like, y'all signed her. Want, now y'all want to own this song to put it on her EP. Uh, no, you can't do that. Well, it sounds like a, a license should be worked out. Like, this doesn't sound like the most un, me, unrectifiable not. situation in the world. Holmes isn't hit, kid. I'm sorry about that. This y'all shit. I don't know about this. It just sounds like, yo, we. we it sounds it. rectifiable. It sounds like, yeah. It, sounds, it like, sounds like the junior version of Meg and Carl Crawford. Yeah, yeah. You got to pay me. There's similarities yeah. there. No, but that's from one song. Yeah. That's is, why I said the junior yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. You got to pay me, though. They, Meg and them are going through this over whole albums and contracts. Yeah. This is a song that we have to divvy up. Yeah, it's one song. But it's the song that was the start of your career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you did promise it to CMG mm -hmm. or, yeah, mm -hmm. I own this. You know, it's, they'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. They'll be fine. This is, There'll this be is, more songs. It seems like a very <laughs> easy, easily rectifiable. Yeah. No, Joe, bye. Enough, Daddy.